see them. Can you just ask questions and I can answer them? I'll That's try what's that. easier for me. I'll try it. You can start. You can start. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we have a young artist. And just tell me your name. Mariam. Mariam. Okay, very good. Well, I noticed this very nice, well, uh, several nice paintings here on the wall. This long one and then these over here. I was wondering if you could explain this to me. Does it have a title or what is it? Everyone, everyone has a different uh, speaker imagination bandur. about this. Speaker so, um, basically this is a scar and there are many things in it. I can't really remember. Um, yeah, this is us. Do you put some hidden pictures in there when you make it? Yes. Can you find them now or did you hide them so well you can't remember? Exactly. I can, I can just look at this. This is a scarf. Scarf, okay. I can't see anything. So if I look hard enough, will I see a giraffe? Because that's my favorite animal. <laughs> exactly. This, uh, the, everyone has, an has a different Im imagination about the paintings. So you think it's a giraffe, mm -hmm. I have a different imagination. Well, I see down here, it looks like somebody's laying down and has their legs sticking up. Would that be possibly true or not? No. How do you know if it's upside down or not? No, this is because this is a Oh, okay. All right, you know that. And did you have a name for this wonderful painting? No, I don't. And do you paint sometimes how you feel? Like if you feel sad or happy or do you, any, any, any times like that? You make different kinds of paintings? Do you always paint when you're happy? Yeah. So if you're not happy, you don't make a painting? Okay. And what about this one up here? Did you do that one too? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Now that must have a name. It looks like some kind of a scene. It doesn't look like abstract. No, this is not abstract. This is just a um, bunch of buildings and a um, What, is that a city? Yeah, I think so. Is it Karachi? No. Hmm? It's just buildings. Just some buildings, okay. Yeah. Buildings and a full moon. So I could call it, maybe I'm going to call it full moon over Karachi. <laughs> Nobody will know. And how about this nice, smaller one here? Um, this is actually um, a... a this is a painting which represents a day when I was really happy. Okay. My friends came to my home and I just went to the school the next day and my teacher said that you have to draw, make a painting to um, when you're representing a day. So I, um, this is a day. And the special thing I, the thing I like in this is that there is no color which is repeated in it. Like, well, if this color is there, there, this color isn't in the whole painting. So all those colors are distinctly different? Yes. I and didn't notice I, that. I made, the, I made these colors with only five uh, basic, uh, five main colors. So. Okay, and then you made them slightly different. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love color mixing. You love color mixing. Now this one looks intriguing, so there must be a name for it. Did you name this one? Yes. Like Happy Day? Or a day said, with my friends. A day with your friends. There you go. So now you just <laughs> named it. So you should turn it over and call a name and put a date on it because when you get older you want to remember exactly date. Now this doesn't look like abstract here. What, what's going on here? Actually this is my first painting. These are just colors. Oh, your first painting? Yeah. How old were you? Nine. Nine years old. Okay. Um, does this have a name? At first I thought of watermelon because of the red at the bottom. But then I saw green and orange and I thought, well, maybe watermelon's not the name of it. Actually, these are the colors my grandmother gave me. Oh. So, yeah, I just wanted to use them, so. Okay, well, I guess I'll just have to keep guessing on what that's called. If you think of a name for it, write it down on the back and then next time I come, you can tell me. Maybe you can call it grandmother's colors. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm very impressed with your painting skills. I'm sure you can probably do many more. And maybe if you have time, if it's not uh, too much trouble, you can paint one for me. Sure. Call it um, Pakistani Friends or something. Or some, well, you name it, anything that you would like to. But make sure you do it on a happy day. Okay. Well, thank you, Miriam. It's very nice to meet you. Miriam made one for Tony Bazan. Well, you did. Did you give it to him?
Oh, well now I feel like I deserve one too. <laughs> so this is very nice to meet you, and um, I can say you do have very good talent, so it's nice to see your pictures. And thank you for taking the time to explain it to me. Bye-bye.